What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new ranking. Today I'm going to be ranking every single Jurassic Park film. So this should be fun. So let's get straight to it. But before we get into it guys, make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' Jurassic Park ranking is. I want to be talking with you guys about that. And of course we're doing this because Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom did come out this weekend. You guys can find my review down below as well. Go check it out if you guys want to hear my thoughts, more in-depth thoughts of that film. Of course, let's get started. Coming down at number 5 is actually going to be Jurassic Park 3. Yeah, when I was a kid, did I like this film? Yeah, I did. Was the humor pretty mismate? Yeah, it is. Jurassic Park 3 does have some fun elements to it, and it's one of those films where the second one wasn't that good, the first one's almost a masterpiece to me, and the third one's just like, okay, this is a cash grab. Yeah, a cash grab like Hollywood usually does, Jurassic Park 3 kind of just resides in there, you know, there's no memorable scenes to me, it's just an okay film. There's some cool action beats, and there's some cool humor in there, and some okay characters, but nothing that really just sticks out to your, like, yeah, this is a Jurassic Park movie. I mean, yeah, it's a Jurassic Park movie because it has fucking dinosaurs in it, but again, nothing that just sticks out to you, like, yeah, this is the one. Coming in number four, this was actually a really hard one to place, Though I went back and forth, I had to rewatch the other film, but Jurassic Park 2 comes at number 4 for me. I put this here because this film does not hold up at all for me. And obviously, months down the road, years down the road, this might completely change, but I do not think Jurassic Park 2 holds up. I think some people have rose-colored lens over their face when they watch this film, because I think some people find this film to be very underrated, and for me, I, I, I just kind of find it boring. It, it's an okay, it's a cool concept, but they just never go fully with it. Yes, the actors are great. Yes, the characters are fun. And yes, there are some terrifying moments to it, but Jurassic Park 2 never really works perfectly for me because it doesn't hold up to today and i just i never got into jurassic park 2 this is one of the only ones surprisingly when i was younger i watched jurassic park and jurassic park 3 i usually never watched jurassic park 2 i have no idea why maybe i was just a stupid kid but coming in at number three is going to be the brand new Jurassic World film, Jurassic World Fallen King. I put it at number three, even though I was very disappointed with the film, I thought it was just an okay, just fine, good film. Nothing great, nothing horrible, just okay. The first hour of this film is brilliant. I think J.A. Biona did a fantastic job with the direction of the whole film, but that first half is excellent and had me on board the whole entire time. Then once you get through the rest of the film, I'm kind of just like, uh, I don't know where this is going, and I... In the middle of the film, it kind of dragged for me because that's when you really get to the main villain and the villain's just kooky and cartoony and mustache twirling and just not worth watching and I didn't like the main villain at all. But once it got to the third act and it introduced some more dinosaurs, I was kind of like, okay, I'm getting back into this. Some Jurassic Park 2 feel, but a little bit better. J.B. Ona's direction's really coming into clutch with this horror aspect that they had from the first Jurassic Park film. Just, I don't feel any of the magic again. In the end, I did like Chris Pratt. I liked the new little girl. And da Bryce Dallas Howard was really good in this film. I loved her character in here, and I'm glad she did not wear any heels. Coming in at number two is going to be Jurassic World. Now, this film took me by storm. I absolutely think this film is so much fun, and I really like it. In fact, I might even love it. I've seen this film tons of times. I saw it like five times in the theaters, and it's just a total blast of the movies. I didn't think it brought the magic back that Jurassic Park brings with the first time you ever watch it. I mean, the magic is still there even after watching it years later. But, and some of the CGI was pretty bad in Jurassic World. I, I thought Tr Colin Trevorrow did an okay directing, but I think the thing with this film is that it's just a blast to watch. It has the horror vibes in it. The kids are annoying, but Chris Pratt is the star of this film. Him, what other film do you get a man riding a, a motorcycle through a jungle with raptors running a, side by side? That is awesome. I love that. I love the relationship they built with him and the raptors. Again, the villain's a little kooky in here. The giant dinosaur that they mutated and made in here was awesome and brought some great moments in here. Again, tons of great concepts in this film that I really hope they elevate more into a Jurassic World 3. Overall, just really like Jurassic World. I know there's issues with the film. I know she wears heels. I know there's some stupid things in this film, but it's just a total blast of the movies and I have a big smile on my face every single time I watch Jurassic World. Of course, coming in at number one, I don't think this should be a surprise to anyone. It's Jurassic Park. This film is a freaking masterpiece. I love the original Jurassic Park. 
I just remember the first time ever watching it, seeing them go through the Jeep, their encounter with the T-Rex, their encounter with the Raptors, their encounter with the dinosaurs for the first time, is this something of magic that I think only Spielberg could bring and John Williams could bring with that score. That score is so damn memorable. And Jurassic Park is one of those films that really captivated the sense and wonder of a child experiencing something for the first time. It was just, it, it's so magical. And it's one of those films that even with nostalgia in my eyes when I watch it, it still holds up to today. Yes, there's some of the special effects a little bit dated, yes, but a lot of the practical effects totally work and make it beautiful. I just rewatched this film. I have a blast watching it every single time. I love this film, and it just has some of the best memorable moments in film, some of the best dinosaur action ever in anything, and the film just gives you a heartwarming thing in your heart and also a terrifying thing's in this film. Jurassic Park's a masterpiece. That's my ranking of the Jurassic Park franchise. Yeah, that, woo, that was quick. But, but guys, of course, comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are on the Jurassic Park franchise. I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Maybe we'll have different opinions. I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Guys, if you're new here, make sure to consider subscribing. I do tons of videos like this. I do tons of movie reviews, and I can't wait to catch up with you guys and talk movies. But if you guys want to talk movies on other platforms, go hit up all my social media links. I'll talk movies over there. And of course, if you guys want to get into more movie stuff, Hit up Sandwich Sean Films down below because right there you guys can get into movie news, movie reviews, and even maybe see some movies early. Yes, we do give it out in advanced movie screens. Do not miss out on that. As of course, until next time, you guys rah, 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 and stay classy.